Hi guys, today we're going to be going over lesson 9 for 2nd grade. So our first topic is skip counting. We're given the numbers 5, 10, and 15 here. So we're going to find a pattern within these three numbers to find the next three. So let's see, let's find the difference between each number. So 10, and when 5 will subtract, 10 minus 5 equals 5. So... 5 to 10, we're going to add 5 and 5 to get to 10, which is the next number. So let's see how much we have to add to get to 15. So we'll find the difference. 5 minus 0 equals 5. So we know that we're going to be adding 5 to each number to find the next number. So we'll do 15 plus 5 to find which number goes after 15. 15 plus 5, 5 plus 5 equals 10, so we'll put the 0, 1 up here. 1 plus 1 equals 2, so the next number is 20. Now we'll add another 5, because we have a plus 5, so 20 plus 5 equals, 0 plus 5 equals 5, bring down the 2. Next number is 25. Now we'll add 25 and 5 to get to the next number in this pattern. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 1 plus 2 equals 3. So we're skip counting by 5 because we're adding 5s to count to the next number. Now we'll do number 2. Erase this over here. We'll find the difference between each number in order to find a pattern. Here. Okay, so we'll subtract and we'll do 70 minus 60. And 0 minus 0 equals 0. 7 minus 6 equals 10. Now, the first question, we were going up. So the numbers are increasing. They're going from 5 to 10 to 15. So they're getting bigger. But here, they're going from 70 to 60 to 50. So they're getting smaller. So to go from 70 to 60, we have to subtract. We'll be subtracting 10 instead of adding now let's do 60. We'll find the difference between 60 and 50. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 6 minus 5 equals 1. So the difference between each number will be 10. We're going to be subtracting 10 from each number to get to the next number. So we'll do 50 minus 10. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 5 minus 1 equals 4. So the next number is 40. Now let's do 40 minus 10. We have 40 here, and we'll do minus 10 to find the next number. Minus 10, 0 minus 0 equals 0. 4 minus 1 equals 3. So 30, and then we'll do minus 10 again to find the next, the last number. 0 minus 0, and then 3 minus 1 equals 2. So we found the next three numbers in this number pattern. By skip counting, in the first one we skip counted by fives, and then the second one we skip counted but backwards by tens. Now we're going to be doing our next worksheet page, telling the time. So we're given a clock here. There's the numbers 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the hours are shown on the left side with a colon, these two dots, and the minutes are on the right hand. The hour hand is the shorter hand. This one is the hour hand. The minute hand is the longer hand, right here. So here, our minute hand is pointing at the number 12. So, the time isn't, the minute time isn't 12 though. For the, for the minutes, each number that it's pointing at is going to be that, but we're going to be counting by fives again. So what I'm saying is we're going to be starting from zero at the 12. The 12 signifies zero because there's 60 minutes in an hour and one full rotation is, takes 60 minutes. So one full rotation is one hour. So, 
to go from this number to this number, it takes five minutes. So if the minute hand is pointing at the one, it'll be five minutes. If it's pointing at the two, it's going to be 10 minutes. See what we're doing here? We're going to be adding five to get to the next number. And we'll add five again to get to 15. And then add five to 15, just 20. So if it's pointing at the four, it'll be 20. If it's pointing at the five, it'll be 25. We're going to keep going in the same pattern by adding fives. And if you see here, there's there are four dots between each number. So this is zero, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's how these minutes work. There are 60 ticks here, and each one signifies one minute. So we're going to be looking at the at them by fives here. So the minute hand is pointing at the 12, which is zero. So it'll be zero, zero. And then the hour hand, it's pointing at the seven right here. So for the minutes, we'll be looking at the outer, these five, when we're counting by fives. And for the, for the minutes, we'll be counting on the outside by these fives. And for the hours, we're going to be looking at the exact number the hand is pointing at. So it'll be seven o'clock. Now we'll do the next question. We'll do the same thing. We're going to count by fives. So this is zero. Oops. So this is zero, five, 10, 15, 20. You can keep going. Oops. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So our minute hand here is pointing at this four, which is 20. So the minute will be 20. And then the hour, it's right here pointing between the five and the six. So if you look at our minute hand, it hasn't passed the 30 minute mark yet, right? The 30 minute mark is right here. It hasn't passed this part yet. It's before the 30 minute mark. So we're going to take the number that is in front. So it's 520. If this minute hand over here, this minute hand was past the 30 minute mark, then we would take the number six instead of the number five. But since the minute hand is before the 30 minutes, it's, we're taking the first number. Okay, now we'll move on to estimating time. So we're going to compare it to a minute, to by minutes. So we have playing a board game, we're going to estimate reasonably if it's going to take less than one minute or more than one minute. So tasks that take like around a minute are like short and simple tasks like tying your shoelaces or writing your name. And ones that will take more than one minute will be like going to school or eating a meal. Yeah, those things take more than one minute, one minute and things shorter or simpler will take less than one minute. So playing a board game is a longer task so it will take more than one minute drawing a square you can do that right here and it was very simple very easy and it finished quickly so it takes less than one minute and then counting on your fingers if you count on your fingers right now as fast as you can it'll take a short amount of time so it takes less than one minute now for our last page we're going to be doing word problems for number two, it says in class A, there are 27 students. Class B has 35 students. How many more students does class B have? So we'll be doing subtraction in order to find the difference between the class classes. Okay. So we have five minus seven here. So we'll regroup and take a 10. So now we're given 15 minus seven, which is eight. Now we have two minus two, which is zero. So class B has eight more students than class A does. Okay, I hope this is helpful and that helped you understand and thank you guys